In the labyrinth of cinematic history, there exists a doorway to the past, a portal that leads us to a realm where black and white dreams flicker and echo with the resonating pulse of imagination. Imagine a time when the silver screen was more than just a visual feast, it was an experience that captured hearts and minds, leaving an indelible mark. In 1959, a peculiar sensation swept through theaters, sending shivers down spines and invoking gasps of both terror and wonder. This sensation, this enigma, was none other than the tingler. Picture yourself in a dimly lit theater, the flicker of anticipation in the air as the curtains part and the projector whirs to life. The film unspools, and you find yourself immersed in a world where fear takes on a tangible form. The Tingler, directed by the maverick William Castle, introduced audiences to a chilling premise, a creature that feeds on fear itself, lurking within the human spine, waiting to be unleashed. But here's the twist that made it truly remarkable, a groundbreaking use of a technology called Percepto, where buzzers were rigged to theater seats, delivering electric jolts at the height of suspense, making fear not just a feeling, but an electrifying reality. Do you remember the first time you experienced the Tingler, perhaps with bated breath and a heart pounding? Maybe it was the collective gasp of the audience as Vincent Price, in all his charismatic glory, desperately fought the tingler's grip, wielding a knife as if it were a battle for his very soul. Or was it the spine-tingling climax, where the screen momentarily went black and Price's eerie voice urged viewers to scream for your lives? As we journey back to that era of innovation and cinema magic, let's unveil some hidden gems about this iconic film. The facts behind the scenes, the anecdotes that shimmer like fragments of celluloid, and the legacy that the tingler left behind. So, buckle up as we unravel the mysteries and dive into the curious world of this spine-chilling masterpiece. From quirky production tales to the lasting impact it had on the horror genre, the story behind The Tingler is a fascinating one that deserves to be heard. Step into the past, embrace the nostalgia, and get ready to unearth the electrifying truths behind the scenes. This is more than just a movie, it's a journey through time, an exploration of fear and fascination, all wrapped up in the enigmatic allure of The Tingler. In 1959, The Tingler, a horror film directed by William Castle, emerged as a unique and memorable entry in the genre. The movie follows Dr. Warren Chapin, portrayed by Vincent Price, a scientist delving into the phenomenon of fear. He discovers an organism he names The Tingler, which resides in the spine and thrives on fear. The film presents an innovative concept for its time, with a narrative interwoven with Castle's signature gimmicks, including Percepto, where selected theater seats were rigged to vibrate, enhancing the audience's engagement. Vincent Price's portrayal of Dr. Chapman contributes to the film's iconic status, as his performance masterfully captures the blend of scientific curiosity and psychological unease. The Tingler left an imprint on popular culture by showcasing the potential for audience interaction and creating a lasting association between horror and thrilling cinematic experiences. Its exploration of fear and its physiological effects added depth to the genre, influencing subsequent horror creations. Ultimately, The Tingler remains a classic that embodies both innovation and the lasting appeal of spine-tingling narratives in cinema. In a quirky twist of fate, the 1959 horror film The Tingler managed to cast its chilling spell not only on the silver screen but also in real life. Pamela Lincoln and Daryl Hickman, the talented duo who portrayed the young enamored couple in the movie, found themselves succumbing to romance off-screen. Following the film's release on July 29th, the pair embarked on a journey of their own, exchanging vows on November 28th of the same year. The union bore fruit with the arrival of two children. However, life's tides can be capricious, and the marriage that blossomed amidst tingling suspense eventually dissolved on December 8, 1982. But the true mastermind behind the tingler, William Castle, was no stranger to pushing the boundaries of audience engagement. In addition to the ingenious Percepto gimmick, where buzzers were attached to select seats, Castle contemplated a whirlwind of other chilling concepts. From rolling bean bags to brush against unwitting legs, to strategically placed speakers emitting spine-tingling screeches, Castle's creativity knew no bounds. He even toyed with the idea of deploying shills armed with mechanical ticklers to stir up sensations. Yet, it was the discreet buzzers synchronizing with the on-screen appearance of the titular tingler that prevailed as the most viable mechanism for inducing spine-tingling shivers. As the audience braced themselves for cinematic terror, the tingler unveiled another curious facet. Nestled within the film's narrative, an unexpected glimpse into cinematic history emerged. Clips from the 1921 film Tollable David graced the screen, a nod to the past that lent a layer of cinematic texture to Castle's modern horror spectacle. So there it is, a tale of tingling romance, innovative theatrics, and a subtle homage to the cinematic lineage. The Tingler didn't merely confine itself to the screen, it wove its spell through matrimony, technological ingenuity, and a touch of vintage cinema charm. The Tingler electrifies audiences, a shocking tale from the silver screen in the annals of cinematic history. Few movies hold the unique distinction of blending horror with electrifying innovation quite like The Tingler, the 1959 cult classic directed by the master of gimmicks, William Castle. This spine-tingling sensation left its mark not only on the minds of its viewers but also in the halls of movie lore. Renowned for its outlandish premise and ingenious promotional stunts, the film's impact still resonates today. 
While not every film can boast critical acclaim, The Tingler found its place among the pantheon of so bad, it's good movies. It earned a spot in the esteemed list of the 100 most amusingly bad movies ever made curated by none other than John Wilson, the founder of the Golden Raspberry Awards, fondly known as the Razzies. Wilson's book, The Official Razzie Movie Guide, immortalized this cinematic oddity for its captivatingly awful charm. Director William Castle, ever the showman, pulled off one of his most audacious stunts with The Tingler. In his biography, he revealed that he literally had millions of backsides buzzing with excitement. The electric seats he installed in theaters sent audiences into a frenzy as the eponymous creature on screen sent shivers down their spines. This melding of storytelling and sensory stimulation marked a daring leap in immersive cinema, leaving patrons both delighted and, quite literally, electrified. At the heart of the film's eerie narrative lies the tingler itself, a creation that straddles the line between the known and the unknown. This cinematic embodiment of fear is, in fact, inspired by the velvet worm, scientifically known as Peripatus, a creature that resides within its own phylum, Anachophora. Situated halfway between an earthworm and an arthropod, this enigmatic creature's traits became the inspiration for the film's central terror. The parallel between the velvet worm's elusive existence and the tingling sensation of fear we experience makes for a compelling, albeit unsettling, connection. As time marches on, The Tingler remains a curious relic of the past, a film that dared to experiment with fear and technology, leaving an indelible mark on the history of cinema. Its inclusion in the pantheon of cinematic oddities showcases the enduring power of a truly unique vision, brought to life through daring directorial choices and a willingness to embrace the unconventional. So, whether you're a cinephile seeking a memorable journey through the bazaar or a casual viewer in search of something that defies the norms, The Tingler beckons. Step into a world where horror meets hilarity and where electric seats once brought a novel form of terror to the silver screen. The Tingler, unveiling the unseen connections and a captivating twist behind the scenes of the 1959 horror classic The Tingler, actress Judith Evelyn's dedication to authenticity shines through. The Weirton Daily Times reported on August 8, 1959, that Evelyn, renowned for her impeccable vocal prowess, took a unique approach to her role as a deaf-mute in Columbia's spine-chilling masterpiece. The article revealed that she diligently underwent sign language lessons to master the intricate subtleties of communication, ensuring her portrayal was both accurate and impactful. Evelyn's efforts paid off as her signing, though silent, resonated eloquently with audiences, adding an extra layer of authenticity to the film's eerie atmosphere. But The Tingler doesn't just embrace its own era, it also harkens back to cinema history. Astute viewers may catch a fleeting yet fascinating glimpse into the past within the film itself. Clips from the silent classic Tollable David are ingeniously woven into the narrative. This clever cinematic juxtaposition bridges generations of storytelling, highlighting the timelessness of fear and human emotion, while also paying homage to the artistry that paved the way for the tingler. In this enigmatic tale where fear takes on a physical form, the connection between the past and present, spoken and unspoken, adds a depth that transcends the screen. Through Judith Evelyn's dedication to authenticity and the subtle incorporation of silent cinema, The Tingler captivates not only with its spine-tingling moments but also with its unseen threads that bind cinematic history together. The Tingler, a classic that defied conventions in the annals of cinema history, few films have managed to carve out a unique niche quite like The Tingler. Released in 1959, this cult classic has left an indelible mark for reasons both intriguing and unconventional. Notably, the film has achieved an unexpected trifecta in the realm of cinematic curiosities. Firstly, The Tingler has earned a place of distinction in John Wilson's tome The Official Razzie Movie Guide. An uncanny amalgamation of horror and humor, the movie finds itself nestled within the 100 most amusingly bad movies ever made. Wilson, founder of the infamous Golden Raspberry Awards, recognized the film's magnetic ability to captivate audiences in unconventional ways. In doing so, The Tingler has transcended traditional cinematic norms, evolving into a paradoxical masterpiece that elicits both chuckles and chills. Secondly, The Tingler boldly ventured where few films had dared before. In an era where societal norms were rapidly shifting, the film fearlessly explored uncharted territory by depicting an LSD trip. While not overt, this narrative twist marked a groundbreaking moment in cinema, propelling The Tingler beyond the confines of its horror genre classification. The film's audacity to portray an LSD experience was a harbinger of cinema's growing willingness to engage with previously taboo subjects. Lastly, Judith Evelyn's remarkable presence in The Tingler underscores the film's eccentricity. Portraying a mute and terrified silent movie theater owner, Evelyn's role adds a layer of intrigue to the narrative. Notably, her stint in this unconventional role came five years after she portrayed the romantically frustrated Miss Lonely Hearts in Alfred Hitchcock's classic Rear Window. 
Remarkably, Evelyn didn't utter a single word in either film, showcasing her unique ability to convey emotion through silence. The Tingler, a film that defies conventions, lingers in the collective consciousness as a quintessential embodiment of cinematic eccentricity. Its listing among the amusingly bad in Wilson's book, its pioneering portrayal of an LSD trip, and the enigmatic performances of Judith Evelyn Coles to form a cinematic tapestry that continues to bewitch, baffle, and beguile audiences to this day. As we bid adieu, let the vibrant echoes of the Tingler continue to resonate within the chambers of your imagination. Just as the film's titular sensation thrived on fear, may your connection with this cinematic gem thrive on the elixir of nostalgia and wonder. Recall the thrill of Vincent Price's commanding presence, the tingling tendrils of suspense that wrapped around your senses, and the indelible mark this classic has etched upon your cinephile soul. As you ponder the moments that intertwined your path with this 1959 masterpiece, allow your thoughts to become a canvas, painting stories of midnight screenings, cozy living room marathons, and conversations that span generations. Let the tingling sensation of reminiscence course through you, sparking conversations that bridge time and space. In a world that spins ever onward, the tingler remains a touchstone, a nexus where past and present melt. Your unique recollections are the glue that holds this cinematic experience together, a testament to the film's lasting impact and your personal connection. Share your musings, whether they are tales of spine-tingling chills, profound realizations, or unexpected encounters kindled by the film's enigmatic allure. And so, we extend our heartfelt gratitude for indulging in this journey of reflection. Your cherished memories and thoughts breathe life into the legacy of the Tingler, preserving its essence for future enthusiasts and wanderers alike. As the curtains close on this discourse, may your connection with the movie continue to enrich your days, offering a resounding reminder that in the world of cinema, as in life, the tingling power of shared experiences holds an enduring charm. Thank you for entrusting your time and enthusiasm with us. Until we delve into the next cinematic reverie, let your thoughts continue to reverberate with the captivating touch of the tingler. Stay tingled, stay curious, and stay entwined with the magic of storytelling. With warm regards.